when you came to to uh, Sri Lanka, one of your goals would would have been to qualify for the final four. You're th you're there now. Um, can you just give us an update as to the, the mood in the camp and the the um, where you how you got to progress in the semifinals and then try to get into the final? Obviously, we went to the semifinals the last T20 World Cup. So our aim is obviously this World Cup to go one step further. So we we, we, we have a start already. We qualify for the semifinals. Now we're looking to go to, to towards the finals. I think the, the girls have realized that you know they want to go one step further as well and prepare to put in the hard work over the next couple of days to make sure they. Well prepared going to the semifinals. Okay, you worked hard in um, Gaul where you won two, you lost one to Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. but you, you, did, you did beat the so-called bigger teams, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that would be very satisfying uh, to reach the stage. Yes, definitely to beat um, New Zealand in the first game. Obviously, New Zealand, the team that went to the finals the last two years, so to beat a team like New Zealand in the first game really set the tone for the rest of the tournament. You know, we lost, we lost to Sri Lanka, but we came back strong against. Um, South Africa and show that we're really, really step up our game. We can we can beat anyone. So I think that's the key to make sure we step up our game at the right time. Can you use five spinners against South Africa? Is that a strategy that you think you might use um, against Australia in the semi-final at Prima Dasa? Oh, uh, well, I guess obviously we have to look at the track first. I mean, we knew since the South Africa team was kind of weak against spin, so we, we, we have five, five, five spinners against. But obviously we had three seamers as well in the team at that particular time as well. So I uh, said so we have a lot of options in our team, so we might go. This team might go with the same team, but we have the options of spin and pace as well. So give us a give them more option in going into the semi-final game. Okay, what do you know about Australia that you think you could you could plan for? Well, look at the Australian team. We played against them twice, and I think both both games we played the last T20 World Cup with the lower scoring games, and they got about 110 or so. I think. Correct. Started to change. Started to correction, but I think they got a, it was a low-scoring game. I mean, they, they barely won the game. I think it was, a, it was a kind of close game. And then we played against them in a warm-up game as well, and they got one ten, and we, we lost. We just a couple ten runs or so. So looking at it, we think we bore really well against Australia. We can reduce it to a decent total, and once we can bat sensibly, we can we can we can we can achieve a victory. Okay, and your batting has has done well in the two victories. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're happy with the way the girls are playing. Stephanie Taylor has. She she does as she you know she's performing she always does she gives you a good start DeAndre Dotton got a match winning half century and the other girls the captain Melissa Aguilera and others are, are, are chipping in there with good discipline. Yes, I told I told the players it's definitely important that the top four top five batters want to bat through the innings to make sure that they, they, they get a decent total take responsibility upon themselves to see the, the team achieve a, a victory achieve a good target or well batting first achieve a victory because it's important that one of the players bat through. Then the other players can bat around that person. So it's important that one of the top five players or top, or top five senior players bat and see the game or win the game for the West Indies. That's very important. Something interesting happened in the last game against South Africa. 16 year old Shaquana Quinton came into the team in first game at this level in a big stage and she got career best figures. That must have been pleasing for you as a coach watching on as a, basically a baby, a little baby faced girl doing so well. Yeah, so they obviously think she's going to have a lot of potential, a lot of talent. You know, she's got a bright future in women's cricket. You know, she played against Pakistan in the series before, in the series last year, and a bit against Sri Lanka. But I think she can, uh, she's got a bright future in this level, and she's very mature for her age. And I you know she can, she can step up when, when the call upon, and I think she did an excellent job against South Africa. And then, and I said she got a bright future, and I'm sure that she will do well going far from here. And what's your what's your focus like for you? I mean, what are you going to tell the girls before the Australia game? What is going to be your pet talk to them? Uh, how big a game is this? Well, I don't want to get too you know too excited in terms of crowd and, and television, because sometimes we think too much of those things and you, you lose the focus and you get a bit nervous and panic and stuff. You just want to go out there, relax, enjoy the game, uh, win or lose. Make sure you, you give your best and let you know, me be competitive. That's the aim. Let be competitive in the semi-finals and make sure once I give the best, we come out on top. Okay, playing in front of 35,000, mm -hmm. uh, live in front of 35,000, mm -hmm. millions watching on television. I'm sure this is a big statement for not only women's cricket across the world, but West Indies women's cricket. I'm sure this is something that when some of the girls look back on, mm -hmm. maybe after they finish playing cricket, they will be able to say this was one of the highlights of my career. What is it like for you then, being coaching a team in such an environment? Well, it's always as it's good to, you know, to, 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 to I always tell the players it's good to show that you know it's, the, the stage is your show. You know, Sh show yourself that you know, prove to the world, especially the seen public people care me that the can play cricket. I know that I have the talent I can play cricket, and it's just a stage to prove it. And you know, for my part, I think obviously that I'm putting a lot of hard work to the ladies, and, and hopefully that they can get the best out of them. And that's my role to get the best out of the talent that I have there. And I'm quite happy to be here and, and make a contribution towards women's cricket and Westin's cricket as well. Okay, and uh, final question: You've now in the semi-finals, as we said before. But I'm sure as you, you want to win this, there's no doubt about that. But you look down the road, there's also Cricket World Cup, 50 over World Cup mm -hmm. in a few months in India. Mm -hmm. So I'm guess this this too is is part of the looking for, for to identify the players, the talent pool to go to India next year as well. Yes, definitely. Obviously, India is a longer version of the game, 50 overs. 
but obviously this is the start. You know, we have well, that's next year. So we build this World Cup. We build on to, on to the next World Cup. Obviously, the camp hopefully before that before that World Cup, and this will give players opportunity to make a name for themselves, make a statement for themselves going towards the next World Cup. Of the game, terms of selection as well too. So it's very important that you know that we, we have a, a nucleus of squad going forward to the next World Cup.